Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice video for December 22nd, 2015. Um, we're looking at the general energies that surround us and how we can use these energies um, to serve us best in order for us to be happy, to reach our goals, to manifest the things that we want to manifest. Okay, so the first card we have is the Knight of Cups and this is the energy that we're walking into today with. This is what we are um, taking from um, yesterday or from our past, our recent past. Okay, so with the Knight of Cups, it talks about opportunities being presented to us, but it's opportunities that come with kindness, um, with gentility, empathy, and by that I mean being aware of other people around us, being aware of their emotions, of their feelings, and being more kind towards them, and at the same time receiving more kindness from our um, environment, from the people that surround us, or just generally things calming down where you feel you can take a breath um like you're catching a break basically um it could be that for some of you a water sign has something to do with this a water sign has helped you get to this uh water signs are cancer scorpio or pisces alternatively this could be a person not just an energy this could be someone in your life who is very supportive towards you. Um, it could be someone who's recently come back to your life or whose um, presence you felt more strongly in the recent um, past. Um, or someone you've just grown closer to, even though if they've been in your life for a while, you've just grown closer um, like never before. And they are bringing this energy to you of love and kindness and feeling... Um, very in tune with your emotions, your feelings, being kind towards yourself and other people's emotions and feelings and being kind towards them and supportive of an, and understanding. The main energy you have for today is the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups talks about ending something but it's your choice to walk away from that. It's something you have built on for a long time, it could be eight weeks, eight months, eight years, and it's simply not fulfilled you. It has not made you happy, or it has brought imbalance and um, struggles to your life. Okay, and now you're making the conscious decision to end that, end that energy. So it's like you're replacing you're making a decision to replace negativity situations or people or energy with the knight of cups energy with loving energy kindness understanding friendship support okay so this could be you're improving relationships with those around you you're improving relationship with relationships with your family with your friends and you're improving them by me by way of you seeing things from a different perspective from a kinder point of view um it's coming to the reali realization that um your family although they may be difficult at times and alde although um you and your brother or sister or mother father grandparent whoever are not the same person as in they're not going to see things the way you see things necessarily even though um, that may be the case and they you may butt heads from time to time you're coming to a place where you understand you understand that you are the person you are and they are the person they are and that's two different people with two different perspectives visions emotional mental attitudes you understand that and y you accept that 
it's okay. It no, no longer bothers you. Okay? You accept it with kindness and love. And so you may put an end to some fighting. You may put an end to some negative attitude you may have had towards someone or something in your life. You may put an end to some um, vice, some kind of addiction. But I'm seeing it as more of a place of negativity, emotional or mental. Um, something you've worked really hard on and it's taken its toll on you severely for some of you. Okay, and you're making a conscious decision to not let that happen anymore. Understand the situation and let it go. Walk away from it because you've grown. You're better than that now. You've learned your lessons. Okay? And the last card we have is the King of Swords. And he's all about balance and diplomacy. So again, not letting your feelings get the best of you, your emotions get the best of you. Being the diplomat, seeking balance, making just decisions for you and for those, um, for other people involved. This is not being afraid anymore, not being afraid to speak your truth, not being afraid to stand your ground. Um, but you're very, very balanced now. This is a king energy. He's not intimidated. He's not afraid. He's not overwhelmed. He's not overreacting. He's a king. He's calm, centered, balanced, focusing on justice, balance again, harmony. And if he needs to cut some people out of that situation or cut some situations or some energies out of his life, he will do it. And he understands that that is necessary. And that is not anything petty or selfish or anything like that. It's necessary because you have grown as a person. And you are no longer stuck in situations and attitudes that no longer work for you. Okay, you are moving away from that now. The advice we have for the day. We have 44 environment. So we've got 4 plus 4 is 8 and that is the number of manifestation and power, self-empowerment. Um, and new beginnings created by, by rediscovering your strength and the environment um, refers to again being aware it's like you've, you've moved to a new level of consciousness and you are now aware of who you are you're aware of who you are in relation to others or in, in relation to different situations in your life. Okay, so you are very much aware of that. You're aware of why things are happening the way they're happening and you understand. Okay, this is... The green in the card is very calm and peaceful energy. Okay, so you are coming from a place of emotional strife or mental strife, or any other, un, any other kind of difficulties um, that you've experienced as a result of trying to make something work, really, really trying to make something work for a very long time. And you're coming from that place to being aware of what is happening, being aware of why you did what you did, and for as long as you did, and being compassionate and loving and not allowing that situation to eat you up anymore or to overwhelm you or to cause you distress okay and you are moving into a place of balance where you are very much in charge 
and very much in control and not ruled by your emotions, not overwhelmed, not intimidated. You have the courage to do what you need to do to ensure that you keep this energy in your life of love and compassion and you let go of any other negative energy, situation, people, whatever it is. Okay? So, um, that is what we're looking at for today, for December 22nd. Um, I hope the reading resonates with you and I hope it helps you in, in some way. Um, please like, share, subscribe, please comment, let me know if the reading does indeed help you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.